If you've ever been inspired by an Aish Rabbi or Rebetzin, or by a Discovery Seminar, Jerusalem Fellowships Program, or by an article or film on Aish.com, then the person to thank is Rabbi Noah Weinberg, the revered and beloved founder and dean of Aish Torah International. For 50 years, Rabbi Weinberg dedicated his life to helping countless Jews around the world connect to the beauty and wisdom of their heritage. Early on, Rabbi Weinberg foresaw the looming crisis of assimilation, and in 1953, he traveled by boat to Israel to discuss with the leading rabbinic sages how to respond to this challenge. I realize, you know, in Pilkei Ovis it says, look around, nobody's doing the job, make the effort. That's why I decided I can't count on anybody else, I have to try. Rabbi Weinberg realized that to fight assimilation, he had to create an organization that would foster a renaissance within the Jewish people through effective, dynamic educational programs and educators. The newly recaptured old city of Jerusalem became the ideal setting for Rabbi Weinberg's vision. And so began Eish HaTorah in 1974, one small apartment in the old city's Jewish quarter. Despite these modest beginnings, Rabbi Weinberg had very grand plans. He was convinced that the Torah's wisdom, combined with the idealism of young Jews who would join this cause, and with the Almighty's help, Eish HaTorah could dramatically impact the Jewish world. Over the course of 35 years, bit by bit, Rabbi Weinberg built an organization that now dots the map on five continents and inspires over one million people each year. In 1979, Rabbi Weinberg spearheaded the Eish HaTorah branch in St. Louis, the first outreach center of its kind in North America, and a prototype for the outreach programs that today grace every major Jewish community. One of Rabbi Weinberg's crowning achievements was when the government of Israel, in recognition of his pioneering efforts on behalf of the Jewish people, gave Eish HaTorah the last two building sites, 40% of the frontage, directly facing the Western Wall. In 1996, Rabbi Weinberg dedicated his new yeshiva, housing Eish HaTorah's manpower and leadership training programs. And in his final months, Rabbi Weinberg was devoted to the Eish HaTorah at the Western Wall building, which will house Eish HaTorah's extensive outreach programs. The first phase is scheduled to open in June 2009. Rabbi Weinberg was convinced that all the modern tools of technology should be put to use for the Jewish people. He was the driving force behind Aish.com, the world's largest Jewish content website, which became a platform for Rabbi Weinberg's inspirational teachings, the Foundation Series, Six Constant Mitzvot, and his signature series, The 48 Ways to Wisdom. In 1985, Rabbi Weinberg launched the Discovery Seminar Program, which became one of the most popular programs in the Jewish world, servicing over 100,000 participants in the last 10 years alone. The land of Israel was very close to Rabbi Weinberg's heart. He believed that an Israel experience was the ideal setting to impart Jewish wisdom and beauty. In 1985, Rabbi Weinberg launched the Jerusalem Fellowships, a three-week tour and study program that has brought 10,000 college-age students to Israel. Rabbi Weinberg taught us that when the Jewish people are in danger, we must not remain silent. He took a lead role in the founding and growth of Honest Reporting, today the largest organization in the world countering media bias against Israel. In 2001, as Israel was losing an important PR battle on college campuses, Rabbi Weinberg founded the Hasbara Fellowships to bring university students to Israel for two weeks of Israel activism training. In 2006, Rabbi Weinberg took a group of Eish Torah rabbis to Poland to visit the concentration camps. Rabbi Weinberg believed that the threat of spiritual assimilation was no less a threat than the physical holocaust of decades ago. While standing in front of the crematory at Auschwitz, he declared that just as the Nazis were motivated to destroy the Jewish people, we have to be motivated to build the Jewish people. So what's our dedication? How are we going to be as dedicated as these monsters? Determined, thinking, planning, how to improve, how to improve bringing life. Getting committed Jews to reach out to their unaffiliated friends was one of Rabbi Weinberg's lifelong goals, which in recent years has come to fruition through programs like Project Inspire. Rabbi Weinberg loved every human being and truly believed that it is possible for each one of us to achieve miraculous results. Isn't it terrible in the Sudan? Isn't it terrible battered women 
bad babies, the drug problem, violence. Isn't it terrible? Yeah, yeah, it's terrible, 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 terrible. What are you going to do about it? Me? What can I do about it? So he goes back to sleep. In Judaism, we say, tell me, if the Almighty Creator of this universe would help you, can you do something about it? Of course you can. Anybody can. So, do you think he wants to help you? <laughs> he wants an end to this stuff. Well, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to try? He'll help you. You'll get it done. Rabbi Weinberg taught us that the Almighty created a beautiful world, bursting with pleasure and limitless potential. He taught us to focus on the gifts God has given us and to live life to the fullest. Rabbi Weinberg taught us to get total clarity on our life's purpose and to ask ourselves every day, what are my goals in life? What are my strategies to accomplish them? So you've got to understand, there are things that are worth dying for. And if you don't understand what you're willing to die for, <laughs> you haven't begun living. Today, thousands of Jewish families are committed and active thanks to Rabbi Weinberg's teaching and inspiration. Rabbi Weinberg leaves behind over 100 descendants and many thousands of bereaved students. Perhaps Rabbi Weinberg's greatest achievement is creating students who absorbed his message and will keep his memory alive as the programs and institutions he built continue to grow and expand. And so it is up to us to put into practice what Rabbi Weinberg taught, to fill the void by taking responsibility for the future of our people.